Um, so common emergencies, so GI stasis and or obstruction, they can go hand in hand. Um, so both of those, always an emergency. And again, the sooner you get your rabbit in and we can get some fluids, get some x-rays, see what's going on, the sooner that we you know, can get it on the road to recovery and hopefully keep it from becoming obstructed if it's headed that way and avoid surgery. Because that's what we always want to do. We do not want to surgerize your pets. So that's like, especially at 5 p.m. on a Friday night or Saturday night, like, trust me, we do not want to go into surgery either. So um, spinal fractures, so certainly common. Bunnies get broken when they get dropped a lot of times. But again, that is not the only reason for being down in the rear. I've seen a lot of rabbits that are down in the rear for other reasons, tumors, things like that, infections, parasites. Um, and in fact, it is a common place. This is just kind of out of the scope, but as most of you know, I'm sure, it's very important if you have female rabbits to have them spayed before they're two, because after two, we have no idea why, it just seems to be the magic number in rabbits, 98% of rabbits are gonna get mammary gland and or uterine cancer. Uterine cancer can spread everywhere. I've seen it in the spinal cord. I had a rabbit present acutely down in the rear. We thought it had been dropped. Owner was not at home though, so she was like, when I picked it up, it was acting normally and kind of fluttering around. She's like, I put it down, it kind of leapt, and then it wasn't moving in the back. Turned out it had metastasis to the spine from, from uterine cancer, which of course we did not find until necropsy and there would have been nothing we could have done about it anyway. So, so there are lots of different reasons, but spinal fractures are certainly really common in rabbits, unfortunately. The good thing is, is they're usually not as breakable as people make them out to be. So you have to be careful, but it's not like, oh God, he jumped off the couch, it's gonna be broken. Um, broken bones certainly do occur. Um, fractures of the humerus and then of the rear legs are really common. So a lot of times we'll find rabbits that jump down and they land on their front feet and they break their humerus. Um, that's common. Dysbiosis and sepsis, so those kind of often will go hand in hand. So anything that messes up the rabbit's GI tract will cause dysbiosis and can very quickly lead to sepsis. So all that normal bacteria start to move into the bloodstream and then it causes a huge problem. And then trauma, bite wounds, attacked by other things. Um, for outside rabbits, this is a really unfortunately common problem. We see raccoon attacks, hawk attacks, coyote attacks, all kinds of stuff. So um, something to be aware about. Yeah.